my sister has made herself very clear that she doesn't want me talking about her on my platform. I've taken a couple of videos down because she said I was using her for views and likes and yada yada yada. So I don't really talk about it. Like we, you guys obviously know we have difference in beliefs, but she can be pissed today. She made a video um, talking about she is the alpha, the omega, and she is God. Megan from Bad Girls Club commented on her video was like, I'm so proud of you. And then someone that always comments on my video who's on fire for God commented, well, I never, I never looked at it that way. I, I never saw it this way. Look at she's steering people away from the truth and the word of God. So I am not going to sit here and not say anything. I'm sorry. I have a big platform. I'm going to stand against everything she's saying in that video because it's not right. Jesus said, they will hate you for loving me. And that could be your family members too. You know, I commented on her video, which I wasn't going to do. Um, but then I was like, no, because what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? That is my, my twin sister. Like, someone I want to be dancing and twirling around with in the kingdom of heaven. Like, I'll, I would be doing a disservice to the both of us if I just, like, not say anything, right? So we're, like, going back and forth in her comments, and she's like, are you okay? Like, this is what I believe. There is one God, y'all, and that is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and the gods of gods. He is the Alpha and the Omega. And one of her rebuttals to me was, I am God. I am the creator of all things. This is why people create their own realities. So I pushed back and I was like, okay, so then why are you not living the life that you want to live? If, if that's the case, then why are you not living that life? If you are God and you're the creator of all things and you're not living even closely to how you want to live. And then she pushed back saying, well, because I'm still trying to figure out who I am. And she put I am in capital letters. She also said that so many people walk away from the church because of like my mentality and how they're like praising God, praising outside of themselves when they're God themselves. And I'm like, that's not why people walk away from the church. People walk away from the church because they go, they pray, they're worshiping God and there's no change in their life whatsoever. They're still struggling. They're still sick. They're blah, blah, blah. So they lose faith and turn away from God. People fail to realize that there is covenants that our bloodline made with spirits. There is demonic altars in our bloodlines. There is stuff that we've done, covenants we willingly or unwillingly made ourselves on top of what our bloodline did. So it doesn't matter if you're going to church, dumping your feet, praising the Lord every Sunday. If you're not breaking those covenants, if you're not ruining the, the curses from your bloodline, nothing is going to change for you. There could be someone that's Christian, so full of faith, on fire for God. And if they're not realizing the foundation, they're not understanding where the stagnation is coming from, aka their bloodline, and they're not breaking it, there's going to be no change. You could heal toe through church, and there will be no change if the covenants are not broken. Because God is a covenant-keeping God. Whether it is good or whether it is evil, God is a righteous judge, and he will not break covenant. So if we made a covenant, or our bloodline made a covenant with a demon, and we're not breaking it, God will not help us, because he is a righteous judge. And people fail to realize that Jesus died on the Calvary, and all we need to do is plead the blood of Jesus when we figure out what covenants we're in. Think about your bloodline. Did anyone get an abortion? It, do you have poverty? Is there obesity? Is there cancer? Is there infirmity? Is there anti-marriage? Like the women are uh, Jezebel spirits or the men are Jezebel spirits or the people are getting divorced. There's uh, people stepping out on their marriage. Look at your family bloodline and realize that it's not just you. If you start looking around at your family members, you're going to be like, oh, okay, so this is the curse that we got going on. If your family member died a thousand years ago, and made covenants or had demonic altars and they didn't plead the blood of Jesus, guess what? Y'all are dealing with the consequences on top of whatever BS you got going on with your own covenant having self, okay? If I look at my family, I see anti-marriage with pretty much all the women or if they get married, the, the marriage is end. Look at my parents, they were married for 33 years. And during that marriage, they both stepped out on each other. Boom, covenants, that's, that's a covenant right there. Okay, then we have abortion. Then we have um, 
we have lust, and then we have poverty. The list goes on. So if I look at all these things, then guess what? I understand that I have to plead the blood of Jesus on behalf of my bloodline. And Danny getting on this app and straying people away from God. We are not God. I don't care if she gets pissed on making this video. You are not God, sis. I am not God. There is one Alpha, one Omega, one King of Kings, one Lord of Lords, and one Gods of Gods. And that is our Lord and Savior. All glory be to God. So if I have to piss off my whole entire family and I got to do this myself, let it be recorded on my social media. Let it re be recorded to the heavens and earth today as I'm getting ready to go to church that I, Gabrielle Victor, will stand in the gap for my bloodline. I will be the repairer of the breach and contract today. I plead the blood of Jesus for every demonic altar, every demonic covenant. I break every contract we've ever made with the demon Moloch, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Any, any contract, knowingly or unknowingly, my bloodline has made with any demonic spirit is now nullified with the blood of Jesus Christ. All glory be to God. He said we are the head and not the tail. And he said, any curse that we have dealt with, he will give a blessing. But we have to break those curses and break those altars and demonic covenants. It will be recorded in history that I, Gabrielle Victor, was a repairer of my bloodline. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give all my glory and worship to you, God. Thank you for giving me the strength. Because this is, a, this is, not, this is not for the weak, y'all. This is not for the weak. You feel alone. You feel like no one gets you. You feel like everyone, especially your family, thinks you're annoying. Many are called and few are chosen. And I am the chosen one for my bloodline. And I want to give all glory to God because I have all this strength for you. I have all the trust in you. I have all my faith in you, Father God. So thank you. Thank you. Let my testimony, let the turnaround, the speedy turnaround you have in my life, may force my family to remove the shells off their eyes. It forces my family to, to realize that you are Lord of Lord, King of Kings, God of Gods. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Let my te testimony brings the thousands and the millions to you, starting with my family, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Happy Sunday, everyone. I love you. And bye.